Aguilar, Rosario across the bill. That's the name of his mother. For him, turned pro in 2012. All of his fights have been in California. Joel De La Hoya, brother of Oscar. Likes what he sees. See featherweight belt holder, I believe. Ronnie Rios, featherweight contender. And all way back earlier in the open, you saw him at the first inclination of the Fight Club. That's when it was at Club Nakia on a stage. And, and uh, against Gary Russell Jr. And Russell Jr. was a blue chip. Um, he's just, he was known for his durability, his iron chin, um, but also had. Also, this, this one, we're going to have Plumlee's gym in Burbank to get some work in. His hands to the body and head. Damn second reaction because I think I could collect my check. No, no. This dude is all heart. And he joked again and said, hey, let's do something. That was in July of this summer. In October, Hain is obviously looking to counter with his left hook. He's trying to close ground now. He's not just one of these, these journeymen who come in here because they're close to his fight on September 2nd against Emmanuel Castro, where he really suffered that bad cut. As a switch hitter, but no problem with it. Something he's thrown into his Valerio to open up more. Probably more, more than the younger man wants to this early. But he's getting just a little bit closer, and, and as Edgar loses distance and control of airspace. This is the entire Rio Grande Valley, especially in McAllen, where Ramon Ayala lives. He's a boxing fighting. He's actually a mechanic in far Texas, working out of the pound per Charges yeah. your batteries if you're an old fighter. That left hook landed by De Leon right now. There's have it two rounds to zip. Edgar Valerio. And there it is. Down goes Valerio. There you see that tail from the back of his head. He said he read a Bible passage about. I missed the punch that it looked like a left was in a hook. The fight is out here with that type of airspace. Uh, De Leon simply has no problem. Or I'm seeing his body starting to fill out some more, too. At the age of 22. Well, he's definitely got the frame on TV Live, as is Joel De Loya's mother in law, who tweets us every single time. Dark. His face is becoming reddened and really looking angry. That sledgehammer jab. And just established range. Set up power punches, it can be a damaging. And taken. you know, it's noticeable that the right side of De Leon's face is much redder than the other. Classic educated left hand, because he could hook off the jab and he could turn that jab into a hook. Starts his pro debut in Costa Mesa. Deontay Wilder was fighting. Now they're at the hand. That was followed by Joseph Diaz Jr., who you can see December 17th at the. Because for the Nessa Walcoyot in May, trying to end this fight now. Talk about an educated left yeah. stick, Steve. I mean, what he did was he actually hooked with it. That means the power is coming from the front side. That is very difficult to handle. He did a good job with it, but it's been opened up again, and it appears to be bleeding once more. Opponent, and, and he's got some bloodlust. That report with Valerio, where the blood is a little bit deceiving. The coroner told me that it's a pretty small cut. They're not. Better make it quick. Running out of time. Ooh, nice left yeah. hook landed by the veteran. <laughs> this dude is game. An exclamation point. Oh, and there it is. There it is. Right on, on cue. cue. And it is over. <laughs>